uh, we have a very special uh, guest here in the uh, studio. Um, yeah, uh, in uh, Holland, in the south of Holland, we have a Dutch uh, yeah, a platform that calls uh, Chatsong. And uh, Chatsong is a platform that uh, gives independent artists through all over the world uh, online platform uh, to uh, yeah, uh, get yourself uh, on the list and to get uh, promotion uh, for your fans. And uh, yeah, um, and uh, I saw a singer and songwriter from uh, Nigeria and uh, now living in uh, the UK. And uh, yeah, uh, she is making also uh, very good uh, music. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, and I thought, yeah, we have to interview her. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let you hear for the one and only uh, Kimmy. Uh, good morning, uh, Kimmy. Hi, good morning. Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, f- Hi. yeah. First of all, uh, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm great. I'm great. Uh, how are you doing? Yes, uh, very good. And a uh, very good uh, morning uh, from uh, Holland. Good morning, Holland. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Uh, What's the weather like over there? Uh, we are beginning now uh, then uh, uh, with the interview. Um, yeah, uh, we know. Uh, I know that you're a singer-songwriter and... Uh, yeah, Chatsong Music, uh, a platform from Holland, gives you a platform. But uh, how long are you singing, actually? Well, I've been um, singing for like uh, a long time since I was about like since I was twelve or something. So I've been like singing since I was twelve years old, and my parents they really noticed that I'm very um, enthusiastic about 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 singing. And I used to dance a lot, I'd go on the table during parties, and I'd be dancing, and everyone would be cheering for me. So I've always being interested in singing so i started my first uh performance was when i was 12 years old uh in a concert i can't remember what the name of the concert is uh but it, it was quite cool so i've been i've been doing that for for a while now was that the best performance that you already have done yes i remember i did a performance in um what's it called jazz cafe oh that was so amazing i got to perform a few of my songs that was when i was about like 18 or something so which was pretty cool i really really had fun so that's like when i was uh, about 18 years old yeah okay <laughs> yeah uh, in london uh, in london okay and yeah. uh yeah are, are you coming from a musical family uh no unfortunately not <laughs> <laughs> no, but my dad was very crazy about music. He used to play a lot of jazz music. He used to play a lot of, you know, classical music. It was, I mean, everyone in the house used to be so annoyed about it, except me. I really loved it. Everyone used to be so annoyed about it, but, you know, I really loved it. So, but not musical at all. But he was an enthusiast when it comes to music. Uh, what are your uh, favorite genres uh, that you make? <laughs> Favorite, uh, favorite what? What do you say? Favorite uh, genres. What are your favorite uh, kinds of music? R and B, pop, jazz, oh, or uh... music? Oh, I love rock music. Rock? I love um, classical music, especially rock music. I'm also a very uh, big fan of musicals. Like I'm like a crazy fan when it comes to musicals. I can't just have enough. I've watched so many musicals my, throughout my life, which is something my dad loved as well. Uh, mostly that and most of my influence is from rock music because that was how I started my music journey like I used to be in bands when I was in college like every rock metal band I used to be in band when I was uh, in college and I'll be in like, about four different bands and instead of going to classes because I was studying sociology then and psychology and media I would just go to my band practice and like didn't really care about the um, college at all yes yeah, so I can say rock music yeah rock music Okay, and um, yeah, uh, who is your uh, greatest uh, inspiration or uh, hero in the music? Hero, my greatest uh, inspiration and hero in music, I would say Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Yeah, she's um, she's a, a, a rapper, singer, writer, uh, and now a singer as well. She's got that sort of new jazz kind of flow lauren hill and foo fighters definitely foo fighters those two are like yeah <laughs> okay uh okay and uh where would you like to uh perform in uh, the uk okay my dream where i'd really love to perform which i'm actually targeting for next year would be the glastonbury and the wireless concert glastonbury That's, yeah and wireless, BBC wireless concert, wow. my target. Like, 
I'm, I'm, I'm manifesting that like I, I, I need to perform by next year. <laughs> That's what I'm manifesting that I need to perform. Yeah. Okay. And uh, maybe outside uh, the UK? Of course, outside the UK. Yeah, outside the UK. There, there, um, outside the UK, uh, I don't know a lot of places, but Holland would be a good start. So. Holland, uh, great. Holland, yeah, cool. we are very honored. <laughs> we are very honored. As long as you guys have me, um, I'll be happy to come to Holland. And hopefully I'll be able to learn some of your language as well, because I'm a language enthusiast, so that, that might be fun. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, what is uh, your favorite song uh, of yourself? Are you really, really proud of? Uh... Uh, my favorite song. My favorite song uh, is <sighs> "Filling the Holes." "Filling the Holes," which talks about you know how for so many years you you have you're having to pretend to be somebody else because you you want people to like you you want people to look at you in a certain way so you pretend to be that person and what inspired that song was uh me discovering that i have um me finding out that i've got adhd and then that made me realize a lot of things like oh this is the reason why i think this way i do this uh, people have been making me feel like i'm this way but i'm not i'm not slow i'm not silly i'm not i'm just different in a certain way from other people but doesn't mean that there's something wrong with me so um in the, for that reason i stopped masking because i used to do a lot of masking a lot of masking just to fit in so that's why when i started the lyrics the lyrics goes like I'm tired of being here trying to be perfect. I just want to go ahead and do my thing. So I'm just tired of uh, just tired of being trying to be perfect, meaning that I'm tired of trying to fit in people's um description of what they want me to be, especially when it comes to my music, you know. Okay. Think. Yeah. Okay. And um yeah, uh, how did you get in contact with the uh, chat song? chat song um it was just something i just found it online and i just uh, registered and i got on it so okay you mean chat chat song uh, what chat song do you mean the website or? yeah the website uh, of our dutch uh, yeah uh yeah uh one, because uh, the man uh, the web the, the man of the website is uh, also from uh, holland oh and, uh, okay yeah, uh, and uh, they give, and that's the website that give uh, independent artists uh, a platform. Uh, oh. And oh wow. Yeah, uh, but how did you get in contact with them? Um, I didn't get in contact with him. I just signed up to the um to the website or platform, and I did receive quite a few people talking about my music, how they could relate to the songs, etc. But I didn't know that that was coming from the CEO of Chat Song. So it, I'm, I'm quite surprised that you were saying that, that it was him that contacted me because I didn't know that at all. Hmm, okay. You know what? <laughs> and um, <laughs> and uh, what would you like to achieve uh, in the future? In the future, I'd like to be able to broaden my platform because I, I i believe in connecting with people if you can connect with people you don't know whose life you're saving you don't know who's who you're helping and to do that i believe i need to be able to have that big platform enough for people to hear my music so i can connect with them people that they can relate to me because i believe music is so universal like it's it's something of the soul. Nobody can deny that music does a lot and can change the world. So if my music can change one person's world or save a life, I am happy. But to do that, I need a platform for people to hear my music, for them to connect with my music. I want to speak for people. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I want to speak for people, people that can't really talk, can't speak out. For example, my song, uh, Filling the Holes, one of those things, one of those songs that I would love to continue making so people can you know feel heard and safe especially people that may be autistic people in the neurodivergence sorry my, my my words can be a bit weird sometimes like autistic or got adhd on that spectrum it doesn't matter which spectrum it is i'd like to be able to um, represent them and speak for them to be honest that's what i want to do okay yeah. and uh, which artist would you like to collaborate with 
Oh, okay. I'd love to collaborate with, of course, <laughs> Lauren Hill, uh, Foo Fighters. I'd love to co collab with, there's an artist, a Nigerian artist. He's is a rapper, but I just love his lyrical artistry. Uh, his name is Fowles. And of course, others that actually like along my genre, even, even away from my genre, I, I really don't mind. But those artists, I would love to collab with them. Definitely. If Fela was alive, I'll say yes, Fela as well. But <laughs> it's not alive, unfortunately. So, yeah. Okay, okay, nice. And uh, do you have any tips for uh, people who want the same as you? Do I have a pardon? Do you have tips for people who have the, who want the same as you? Absolutely. The, 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 what I can say, the first thing I need to say is, I know this is typical, but I'm still going to say it anyway. Never give up. Never give up. Another thing I want to say is only you can see your dreams. Nobody can see your dream, no matter how well you explain to them. They can't see it. So if you have a dream, stay there, stick to it, make a nice plan and keep going. It will come at some point. And another thing, never compare yourself to someone else. Because I remember I was reading a quote by Alex Omozi and he said, comparison is um, a killer joy, joy, um, killer joy. That means once you start comparing yourself with other people, it just kills the moment and you don't enjoy the moments that you're living through. Instead, you're looking at another person progressing while you're digressing. So it's a bit, it's a bad idea. And I would say, try and get out there, go on social media. What's the worst that can happen? Don't be afraid of failing. It's not, it's, I don't even consider it as failing. I consider it as your growth, not failing. And if you're different, well, according to the society, different, don't think that there won't be someone out there that will look at you and say, listen, you are special. I would say you are special because everyone's got their specialty. Everyone's got what's great about them. Be you. Cliche, but that is the truth about life. Be you. If all the successful people in the world were not being themselves, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have all the amazing inventions, platforms, et cetera, because they were just being themselves. And if you're autistic or new division, Listen, you're special. That's your superpower. And I would keep preaching that like forever. That's what I would say. So just sing, sing, artistry, artistry, create, create. You've got this. You've got this. <laughs> You've got my support. Okay, great. Um, not that I don't like the interview, but we have to uh, stop it now, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I want to, uh, I want to, uh, yeah, uh, I have maybe a surprise for you. Um, yeah, uh, I'm also an artist and I'm signed by a record label and uh, yeah, uh, they are doing uh, things a little different than other labels. Uh, you oh, yeah. are, uh, you uh, remains the owner of your uh, mastering tracks if you stop by the label and uh, uh, you are not paying uh, high prices and uh, yeah, uh, the rights staying with you. So. Uh, if yeah. you uh, may, if I maybe can help you to get in contact with the CEO owner, so yeah, I yes, would like to please. help you. Yes, please. Now that you said this, everyone is listening, so that means you have to do it. Oh yes, please, absolutely. I yeah. love that. Um, so this is the email, I think. But I'd love that very much. I love that very much. Yeah, and we can discuss more. I sent you an email or I sent you a message uh, or a DM uh, by Insta. And uh, then, uh, yeah, uh, let's see what we can do for each other. Uh, I have now a number, uh, Human Bird, your own uh, song uh, that we are going to play. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, people in Holland like it. Um, yeah, Kimmy, I have to very uh, thank you for this interview. And uh, yeah, it was a really honor for us. Oh, same here. Thank you so much, Holland, for having me. Yes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Kimmy, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye bye. 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 bye.